Hello and welcome, I'm Ben from Digitechnical Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure port forwarding on your Digi Accelerated Linux router. For this demo, I'm using a TX64 running firmware version 24.3.28.88. Before we move on to the configuration, we first of all need to determine which interface is the outside or WAN interface. To do this, we go to Status, Routes. When the screen appears, we have a look for the default route, which is the top line. We can see that, that the device is PPP0 for the default route. On your device, the WAN interface may be called modem or WAN or WAN or WAN1. Just make a note of the name before we continue. So let's move on to the configuration. We go into System, Device Configuration. Port forwards are configured within the Firewall section. So let's go into Firewall and then open up Port Forwarding. You can see here I've already got some port forwarding rules configured. So we're going to add two more. The first thing to do here is add a label or a friendly name so we know what this port forward relates to. RDP, which is port 3389 to IP address 192.168.0.114. The interface to select is the WAN or outside interface that we saw when we were looking at the routing table a few moments ago. You can see here that PPP0 isn't in the list. This is because this router is using PPPoE, so we need to have a look at the network section first of all, and just check which interface is in use. So I go into Network Interfaces 1.1, and we can see here that 1.1 is using interface PPPoE. So I know here to select the 1.1 interface. The IP version is fine at IPv4, and then we can select the protocol, TCP, UDP, both or other. If we were to select other, we have to specify the protocol. The protocol number here is number one, which is of course ICMP. RDP uses TCP, so we'll change it back. The incoming port number is going to be 3389, and this is the port number on the DAL router's external interface that is going to be receiving the remote desktop traffic from the remote PC client. The IP address is going to be the IP address on the LAN side network that we're going to be forwarding the traffic to. So in this network it's going to be 192.168.0.114. The destination port number we're going to leave this blank and this just means that the incoming traffic on port 3389 will also get forwarded to the remote PC on also port 3389. No translation is going to take place. The last thing we need to do is set up the access control list. You can set by zone or address. We're going to use zone and we're going to set the same zone that was seen in the WAN1 interface. If you noticed earlier, the WAN1 interface had the external zone set and we're going to set this to match. This will make sure that the port forwarding rule only applies to traffic arriving at the router on its external interface. We're now going to add another port forward, this time with port translation included. We're going to give this one a friendly name of RDP 3390 to 3389 and we're going to send the traffic to the PC with IP address ending in .115. The interface again is 11, the same as before, it's the outside interface. And the incoming port, this time we're going to set it to 3390. So the router is going to listen for incoming connections on port 3390. The address we're going to send the traffic to is 192.168.0.115 and here's the port translation. So anything that arrives on port 3390 is going to get translated back to the original RDP port number of 3389. And we'll set up the access control list again so that this port forwarding rule is only effective to traffic that arrives on the external zone. That's the configuration complete, so let's click on apply. So we now need to test the remote desktop connection and we can't do it from the PC that we're using for this recording. So I'm going to have to use TeamViewer to connect to another PC that is outside of this network. I'll just type in the password details from the other screen. 
And now we have access to another PC that's using a different internet connection. I'm going to use the remote desktop client on this PC to test the connection. I'm going to enter the IP address and the username and hit connect. You can see there it's prompting for the password, which means that we do actually have a working connection. I'm going to pop the password in anyway. I'll click yes to the notification. And there you go, now I'm connected to the remote desktop session on a PC that is behind the Dow TX64 router. I'll close that session now. To connect to the other PC, I would simply go back into the remote desktop client and on the end of the IP address, just type in colon 3390. And that's now going to connect to the same IP address but using the new port number 3390. And because of the port forwarding rule, that will get translated through to 3389. I'm not going to test this because we know that the connection is already working. We don't need to make any further tests. So that's the end of this demo. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching. If you'd like any more information on this or any other feature of your Digi Accelerated Linux router, please see the support pages at digi.com forward slash support.